Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and today we're introducing something new and this is our Pit Boss that we just got. I've used it three times, this is going to be number four and today we are making Poor Man's Burnt Ends. We got the meat right here and what we're going to use is a rump roast. Why a rump roast? Why not? So I've got my rump roast here. I'm just going to pat it down, clean it up a little bit. Got a lot of juices, just came out of the deep, or out of the freezer yesterday. But it is a good temperature actually right now. I'm close to room temperature at this point. We're gonna use mustard for our binder, and then we're gonna use Uncle Steve Shake. I dig this stuff. The guy is super cool. Let's get to doing it. Really simple, just put the mustard down. You really don't get the flavor from the mustard. You could use uh, olive oil or vegetable oil or whatever, but I do like mustard as part of my binder. Got a good coat on there of Uncle Steve's shake. Get on the sides. Pat it down in there a little bit. I'm gonna flip it over. And we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. This thing is ready to go. It's ready to go into the smoker. We're at 225, so we're gonna put it in there uh, with a probe in there. We wanna get this thing up to about 165, and then we're gonna take it out. But let's get to putting it into the smoker. Before I throw it into the smoker, I did wash my hands because I do have to open this up. We do have also wood chips that have been soaking in water for about a half an hour. I'm just gonna load that in there. Those features I do love about this grill. I've already got my water in there. Open it up. I'm just going to place this in here like that. I'll take my probe. I'm going to put it in like so. See how my probe is? Perfect. Close it up. And lock it. Well, maybe lock it. Oh, I had it. And lock it. So like I said, this thing is going to be in there until it hits 165 in an internal temp. I do have a, a thermometer over here for it. So we'll see you back as soon as it hits 165. We're back. It's been four and a half hours. We're at 165. I can smell it, it smells amazing. We had a crazy rainstorm in the last four and a half hours. And I mean, this place got drenched. So it's probably why it took it a little bit longer to cook than normal, but it's time to check it out. The smell is awesome. I'm gonna take out the probe. Take out our meat. Oh, this looks good. Definitely see the Uncle Steve's on there. Oh, man. Test it. Mmm. That's going to be so good. So, next thing we're going to do, we're going to wrap this up for a little bit longer, hour to two. And we're going to take it up to 195 in temp. And take it out and hopefully do the finishing part. There you go guys, this thing's going back in. Well, it's been an hour and we're at 199, so we went just a wee bit over. Time to take it out. Let it rest for about 15-20 minutes. Okay, so it's been almost 20 minutes. I think it's time to cut this thing up. So I'm gonna go against the grain when I cut this. Oh, so tender though, it really is. Good stuff. 
It's kind of crazy, it's still giving off steam. Look at that, man. You can see the smoke ring on that. Yum. Right. You know, I think I'm going to cut these up like this. I'm just going to cut them into these cubes, put them into our pan. Take some sweet baby rays, and I just got the regular sauce. Oh, excuse me. Mix it up real good. Mm. God, if you could smell this. Put some tin foil back over the top. Hopefully, what's going on here? There we go. I'm going to put them back in to the pit boss for about 20 minutes and then we'll check them out. 20 minutes are up. It's time to check these things out. I did just check the temperature on them. They're spot on at 205. We do, uh, our weather's changed dramatically here in the last 20 minutes. And we're supposed to get a lightning storm here any minute. So time to wrap this up, guys. Amazing. Wow. Not kidding. Let's take a couple out. Ah, oh, I'm so ready to try it. Fork just sunk right into it. Little effort at all. Mmm. Very good. Mm. And with that Uncle Steve shake on it, wow, full of flavor, guys, full of flavor. Try it with a beer. I did just see my first lightning bolt over there. So, anyhow, guys, you saw how we did it. These are poor man burnt ends. I'm a poor man, so it works out perfect. The recipe's down below, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it's not too long. Anyhow, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. Uh, comment, I love your comments. And uh, I'll talk to you later with poor man's burnt ends. Remember the dude abides, poor man burnt ends. We'll talk to you later. Stay safe, everybody. Talk to you. Mm.